Hey everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And this is Bickery and Book Reviews. Today we are going to tell you our top three titles of books that are being released in September of 2020 that we're excited about. Can we talk about the fact that it's September? Does it feel like it's almost September? I mean... I'm still waiting for Independence Day to happen. See, and the other day I was like, when's Memorial Day? <laughs> and I mean, because like I feel like we lost three months. And then, like, all of these things that I normally do haven't happened in the last six months. Yep. So, it's, like, like, I should, I, like, literally my calendar is just, like, stuff crossed out. It's my whole calendar. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, September is still hitting similar to what it does. Like, it's not as busy as it typically is. But I feel like September is when all of the books come. And... There's just not enough time to read. There isn't. There isn't. And that way every month, but more so in September. And then I'm playing catch up for the rest of the year because right. of September. That's about right. So since September is so busy, we both that remind me of that of that Green Day song, right? Call me when September ends. Wake me up when September ends. Wake me up. Yeah. When September ends. <laughs> it was my ringtone at one point. Thank you. My bad. I'm glad I got the month right. Like, <laughs> I'm a little mad at like the lead singer though. Like, why? Some of the like stuff that he's been doing on um, because like, he's been playing the live shows, but you can totally tell he doesn't care at all. This is irrelevant and totally like not related to what we're doing. But no, I watched the live. I thought Billy Joe Armstrong was really like promoting it well. No, I mean, like, I'm I'm cranky, but not at him because I had tickets to see Green Day. <laughs> and I love I love Green Day. Yeah, I'm kind of irked with him right now. Like no, because everything I watched, I thought he was very because he was on the special. He was so. When was that special? It was a while ago. My mom calls me downstairs. She's like, "You've got to see this young guy is playing the piano." She's like, "He's so impressive." She's like, "And he's got this voice." And I'm like, "I'm like, oh." And she's like, "He must be. I've never seen him before. He must be like this new talent." And I was like, "Oh, okay." So she's. I'm like, "Mom, that's John Legend." <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. No, I watched that one. That was yeah, the one where he was there with his dog, right? And what? So Armstrong. Yeah, and then he, I think he played Wake Me Up When September Ends, and I thought he did a really good job. Fine. We can agree to disagree. So, plus um, we can agree to the fact that my mom just now knows who John Legend is. She's, like, a huge cool. fan, though. So, like, now she's, like, watching John Legend off of YouTube because she's, like, it's just he has such a nice voice. I was, like, yeah, Mom. Everybody else figured that out, like, 15 years ago, but. <laughs> so, All right. Anyway. Let's bring it back in. Let's bring it back in. We're talking about books and not Green Day. Right. Or John Legend. Um, so we're going to start the list of the books that we're most excited about. The first one on my list is The Lost Book of White by Cassandra Clare. The book comes out September 1st. I have been reading Cassandra Clare books for, like, ever, mostly because I started because, like, literally the kids at the library where I was working at the time was like, did you read The Mortal Instruments? And I was like, I don't know what that is. So I read them. Um, and the reason I'm excited about this one is because halfway through the books, Alec became my favorite character. And now there's this spinoff series about Alec and Mangus. And this is a book about them. And it's right about after they adopted Max, which the books with like the short stories with them with Max cracks me up and something bad has happened. And like, there's a curse and they have to go to Shanghai to try to figure it out. But they also like have to like find somebody who can babysit their warlock baby. And I just know it's going to be funny and like the adventures. And I just, I just love Alex Lightwood. I honestly think that I would probably have stopped writing, reading the books if I hadn't just like totally fallen in love with that character. Okay. Well, my first book is called We Are Not Free by Tracy Chi, um, and it's coming out on September 1st. And so this one, she wrote the Reader series, which I know got a lot of, like, great buzz when it was originally came out. Um, I just never read it. Um, but I'm excited for this one because it's a historical fiction novel about set in the wake of World War II um, about several 
Japanese characters who are face confronted with um, being sent to the Japanese internment camps. Um, it's getting some prints buzz. The description is really well done. And so I'm super excited to read it because it sounds like it's going to be a well-written book. There have been some really good books lately about the Japanese internment camps and that experience. Yeah, I just read an adult one, an adult book that um, talks about that, and the YA world has much better offerings. Really? Yeah. The George Takei book was yeah. incredible. Right. Um, so my next book is called The Other Side of the Sky. It is by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. They had a series called Starbound that I, like, loved. It was literally, like, basically a shipwreck book, but it was, like, a spaceship had crashed on this island, on this planet, and there were only two people that survived, a man and a woman, or they were teens, but, um, and it was, like, about that kind of thing. So this is another one. It's a science fiction book, and it's, and I'm not 100% clear on what it's about, because it says, the description said that it's the, basically a romance between the prince of the world that is, like, built miles above the surface and he falls in love with this girl from the surface who's like the surface's goddess i don't know that sounds kind of fascinating and like something that i'll totally <laughs> dig and so i'm excited plus the cover is gorgeous well there you go that's how they get you it is how they always get me how they get i you. judge a book by its cover every time yeah well sometimes i judge a book by the title and that's what i did with this one so my next book that i'm interested in is the roommate by Rosie Dan Dannon. Um, release, it's going to come out on September 15th. And so basically, I, with the great pause and the publishing industry kind of turning to what it is, um, I've started reading more adult romance books. And so I'm like, yes, I'm ready for the next boyfriend material, the next red, white, and royal blue. I don't necessarily know if this is, not this this is not giving off the same vibe but it is an adult romance novel and it's obviously about two unlikely um a unlikely guy and girl who end up being roommates and you know complete opposites but i'm assuming that there will be steamy times ahead so steamy times ahead toot toot <laughs> i don't know i don't know that's like i was gonna say that's a lot of books about the, the steamy roommates um, so the last book I'm going to talk about today is called The Inheritance Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Another one cover gorgeous. Comes out September 29th. Um, and Jennifer Lynn Barnes has kind of gotten on that list. Like, I will admit that she had a couple books I didn't love, but like in the last, like, five or six books I've read by her have been, like, my favorites of the year. So I'm super excited about this one. It is about Avery, who basically is just trying to figure out a way to get through high school and, hey, maybe figure out how to get into college. And she gets told all of a sudden, guess what? This billionaire you've never met just left you his entire fortune. But the only way you can get the, the entire fortune is if you live in his house, his huge estate, with all the heirs that he just, you know, stiffed. Hopefully you'll survive and get the money. And there's a mystery to figure out, like, who is he? Why did she care about her? What's going on? Why were the heirs cut out? And I just think it's going to be like it's, like, it's like an older version of Western Games. And I'm super excited. We shall now call her JLB, and she is the best. I love JLB. She's the bomb. And she is one of those authors that's on my list that I want to go to a meet and greet. I want to hear her speak, and I want to get all of her books signed because I love everything that she comes out with. Well, so I would I love to hear her speak because she's a professor. So can you even imagine, like, with her storytelling and actually being trained to, like, she's like psych professor right right she's a psych professor so you've got yeah. so you've, her books so awesome is it's got that psych sway right because i loved the one she did what was it the, the lovely and the dead was that what it was called about the no it wasn't the one about the um search dogs the lonely and the lost the lonely and the lost yeah yeah i that love was, everything in there. and like and her books are always like so very they and they're also like different like they they're unique enough that they stand on their own. Like well, she does what um is very different from the lonely and the lost. But she's also she does the same thing that Jen Bennett does, where you've got the really strong characters, but the setting plays so into it. And I love that. I never thought like I would read like we did this training about readers' advisory, and like you had to list what you like really care about when you read a book. And I never thought setting would matter, but it really does. It does. But that's besides the point. You should finish. <laughs> okay. 
But I'm going to finish with uh, Punching the Air by Evie Zavoy and Yusef Salam. Um, it's coming out September 1st, and I am so excited for this book. Um, so it's actually based on a true story, and it is a novel in verse that continues the conversation on prison reform and injustice. Um, so basically, it is about Yusef, who uh, was wrongfully convicted of a crime he didn't commit, and you know about that experience. And so I guess there was a movie, like a TV series created about this event in time and the person who's reading this is the same person who played Yusuf in the move in the tv series hmm. so i'm super interested to see like what this is about i also really like to read books about prison reform because i am very passionate about that um anyway had like a fangirl moment earlier today because I found out that NetGalley has this audiobook as um, a potential arc. So I requested it. So I'm hoping that the publishing gods will shine light on me and I will be able to listen to this as soon as possible because I'm desperate to hear it. Um, also, it's getting Prince Buzz too. So I was going to say that sounds totally like a Prince book. I hope that people, I hope the committee notices it. I'm so excited. So those are, those are just a few of the books that we're excited about in September. If we did not list the one that you are excited about, let us know and maybe we'll be able to read it because, you know, the publishing is dried up. What are you excited about? What should we also be excited about? And if you have tips for like, if you have something on the horizon, like October or November that you're looking forward to, let us know. Yeah. And All we'll right. See you around. Bye. Bye.